Hmm. Thank you. Um, it's yet another episode, and of course, you know I can't do without my juice up. So I'm trying to juice up for this very energetic interview because I have a very energetic woman here, powerful woman. You need to know who she is. Uh, I know her, so don't worry. Uh, I'll tell you a bit more about her in a short while. But of course, like I keep saying, juice up, oh. you guys. Hmm. I'm joking with the thing, but this is it, juice up. I just had the uh, uh, pineapple and mint flavor. Solid thing. Really, really solid. Uh, we'll be telling you a bit more about it in the show now. But of course, as you do know, uh, it's another episode for 21 Minutes with KKB. My name is Kobna Chenchehene Boating. Today, you know why I'm excited? I'm excited because uh, a few weeks ago, I know some of you have been seeing me on social media and I like to fight with some people. Uh, last year, you know... They said they were serving a living God, so they were making a whole lot of noise on social media. So I mean, I went out there, and I, you know, did my thing. But yeah, <laughs> luckily for us, we were all spared of the noise pollution. So uh, thankfully, <laughs> this year, a lot more is going to happen. But of course, I, I feel strongly that uh, it's good we love all the hype that has come with uh, the National Science and Math quiz. Um, STEM education also gained a lot of prominence as a result of that and several other things that are happening in the country. But um, let's take a bit of a, let's take a minute or so, go back a bit and look behind the scenes and see those who are actually behind this and making this possible. So like I said today, I have a very, very, very powerful woman who is going to help us with that. We'll first dig into her life a bit and then we'll dovetail into the conversation about the National Science and Math quiz right here. Remember the show is probably brought to you by MG Moto Ghana. FG Moto. Listen, you are buying fuel at whatever price now. It's not going to go down anytime soon. It's likely going to go up. Uh, get a car, which is a very solid car, which has a very, very low fuel consumption. So drive into any of our shops. Of course, when you get to the Magana office around the Spintex Road, you get in there, you see some of the very luxurious cars at very, very affordable prices. Get in there, get yourself a car, and drive your way to success. Okay? When we turn from this break... We start our conversation. Stay with us. Today, like I said, we have a powerful woman here. Uh, she says her colleagues call her NA to the power 4. Let me look at A to the power 4. Let me use the binomial theorem and calculate here and then see. It's Nana Ekia Abwajewa and Kumasari. Ah, my goodness. Managing Director for Primetime Productions. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. You good to have me. you. Yes, good to yeah. have you too. NA to the power 4. Do you, you, you like that name? <laughs> <laughs> It's an interesting name. <laughs> right, I, I know, right? <laughs> I know, yes. I know. It's a, it's a very interesting one. Okay, yes. by the way, I like your hair. I, actually, Thank I you. love it. <laughs> I love it. I, I, ah, it's it, a new look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. I, I think maybe I should also... Uh, Senna, should I go for green? I think I should. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. There's a lot I want to ask, but I don't even know where to start from. Maybe I, I, I should perhaps start from asking this question. Um... Born to a judge, uh, take us through your child. How, how was it? I'm, I'm just imagining how perhaps, how strict perhaps you might have had to live your life because the expectations were a bit high. Or was that a situation? I don't know. Let me just ask you. In many ways. Yes. Many ways, eh? Yes. Okay. Share with us. Well, um, my 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 parents. You made an allusion to born to a judge. <laughs> well, my mother was not a judge then. No. Okay. Uh, started as a lecturer of law at okay. the University of Ghana. Okay. And so my parents are uh, Dr. Fuku Mensah Bozo and Professor Henrietta Joy Abenyaku Mensah Bozo, Justice of the Supreme Court. Indeed. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> 
Uh, yes, I didn't want to be the one to let it out anyway. Well, you, my, 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 my starting this way, you, <laughs> you put me in that corner. <laughs> right. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And um, yes, my parents were strict. My mm -hmm. parents were very strict. And growing up, um, I, I suppose... Are they still strict, though? Um, I would say maybe firm mm. now. Because we had a few months ago. And yeah. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> The right. interesting thing is that um, the law, she lived the law also, yeah. so we right. lived the law okay. in the house. Okay. There were cannibal offenses and non cannibal <laughs> offenses. So something like if you stole or, or lied or, yeah. or didn't do your homework or something, that, that was a cannibal mm. offense. And a non cannibal offense would maybe misplacing something. You'd still get um, <laughs> a scolding anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> but but we had fun growing up. Right. My, my sisters, I have two younger sisters. Oh, okay. They are both lawyers. Okay. And in fact, um, the middle one is um, uh, graduating very soon from, oh, okay. from Oxford with a PhD. Oh, nice. And, no, yes. And, nice. and the younger one, uh, the youngest one is, in, is a lecturer of law at the uh, University of Ghana, Legal. Awesome. 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 So, Yes. But why the deviation from law, though? It looks like it runs through the family, but you decided to try your hands on something. Of course, you're excelling at this, though, but mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I followed my dad's full step. Okay. He, he was into advertising and public relations, right. uh, first from Lintas, and then set up prime time in 1993. Mm. And so I have uh, stepped into his shoes, mm. <laughs> and, and I'm running the company um, since 2013. Okay. Um, we'll come to prime time in a short while because I think uh, you guys have done amazing work with the National Science and Math quiz. Let's look at prime time. Uh, I know this may not necessarily be the only project you run, except it's your flagship project. Um, let's start by just take, take us through just a few of the projects you run, essentially, and then we'll come to um, the National Science and Math quiz. You mean currently or currently, maybe or perhaps even over the period? Few. Even over the oh, right. We, we've done a lot of things. You know our work very well. You just don't know that it's us. Mm. Um, for example, if we were to go into the uh, public education campaigns, mm -hmm. the biggest public education campaign of all was the value is the same. And yeah. that, that, that sentence, there the value is no the same. There is no change in value. The yes. value is uh, the if same. you watch the, the ad, you realize that for the first few seconds, there's prime time at the bottom and then it disappears. Oh, okay. Yes. The Bank of Ghana is changing our currency From July 2007 our money will change The two bar of young we buy for 12,000 Will be one Ghana CD, 20 pesos A ball of cake you buy for 1,000 CDs Will be 10 Ghana pesos And your 2,000 church of will be 20 Ghana pesos The this was the somewhere same. in uh, 2006? Or 2006 so? to okay. 2008. Okay. So uh, the value is the same, was coined. In well, the, the value conference. is no longer the same, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was then. At that yeah. time, we were telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. And uh, yes, um, the ACTs with the green leaf. Um, so many other, other, other things. The biggest one. And most of you, I'm sure you hear or see, this is a prime time production. Yes. Um, what from that catchphrase though? It's a really good one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good one, well, really. Well, the, the, the company is called Prime Time. So this is a way of getting uh, people, uh, to, people know. to know about us. Uh, it's like uh, any musician would say, well, they call me Eugene. <laughs> Okay, I like that. F I like yeah. that. E F Y A, yeah. you know, it's catchy. As soon as you hear it, you know who yeah, is singing. That's true, and, that's uh, true, that's true. Um, okay, so um, for NSMQ. Well, let me tell you the story. Uh -huh. uh, let me, while you tell me the story, let me enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> when um, my father started Prime Time, he was looking for, for projects. Of course, you have to feed, you set up a company, you have to feed the company. With, with projects and, and jobs, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to keep the bills, you know, paid and all. Yeah. And he had been toying with the idea of, of doing uh, a quiz competition on, okay. on science and maths for senior high schools, but hadn't quite, uh, at that point, decided how it exactly was going to go. And he had started engaging 
uh, then Unilever Brothers, okay. later Unilever, Unilever yeah. on uh, sponsoring a program like that, and they were all for it. So uh, it was one day in April of 1993 when he was um, he was playing tennis with his with his friends, the Legon Tennis Club. Yeah. Uh, it was like a transformer. So I bet on it. He said uh, a pigeon on it, and uh, it, it made him ask his friend. Uh, Professor Awache, then Dr. Kweku mm. Awache, um, why the bird could perch on the electric wire, not to be electrocuted, but a human being could not do anything yeah. like that without, you know, <coughs> without being electrocuted. And he explained to him about, about insulation. This is Kweku Awache, formerly of Talo? No, 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 no. Okay, Dr. This is a this, yes, Professor Ebenezer Kweku Awache. Oh, okay. He was a um, professor of animal science oh, okay. at the okay. University of Ghana, Legon. So. He explained to him mm. about uh, insulation and then, you know, it's uh, well, the scientific part of yeah. it. And, and so he said, well, I've been thinking about doing something like this and I'd want you to be on the team. So uh, Papa Wachiv was the first chief consultant. He was oh. a chief consultant for the program. Wow. And so they sat together and discussed how the, the, the rounds would go, how everything would would be set up and then he said well he needed a a, a host but he was thinking about a lady and and before she was like have you spoken with Prof Mariana Di, who also played tennis in the in the okay. in the in the club mm. so he went and spoke with her and uh, she became the first um, quiz mistress mm. and that's how the story began yeah. that's how oh. it began it was motivated by a bed mm. on an electric wire <laughs> a good one and even the decision to even at the time opt for a female hostess i think it was a really really great one yes and i yes. think even as of now we've managed to stick to that trying yes. to promote that that bit of it and get yes. a lot more people in females in stem, in too. STEM. yes awesome awesome yes. awesome so we really. we even have uh, a quiz mistress who was a former contestant yes, yes. Uh, dr anita opon joined us in 2020 she was a representative of the 2005 okay. uh, uh, Ghana National College team. So she oh, contested national. on that team. Oh. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's good. Um, yeah. I, I, there's one thing I've been asking myself. Yeah. How have you over the years, I know it uh, plateaued at a point, but when it came out, it came with such a bang and everybody was talking about it. And it was simulcasting on radio and TV platforms and Twitter was on fire and, you know, people. How have you managed to get the interest, in fact, to begin with, to push up the interest so high and to sustain it all these years? I think it's, it's um, about understanding who our primary targets are. Mm. Uh, once we understood who we needed to reach and we understood what channels were best for reaching them, everything else fell into place. Mm. And then also we um, have a much younger team working on it. So if you have young people mm. working on a project for young for people, young people yeah. then yeah. the connection is going to be yeah, there. That's true. And, and I think that's worked very well for us. Um, it's not, it wasn't as quick as you, you put it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we were not on air for two years because yeah. of sponsorship challenges. Yeah. And then the, the Conference of Heads of Assisted Secondary Schools, they uh, petitioned the GES Council and then they agreed to levy the schools so that they could uh, raise the money yeah. needed for the competition. And because the schools came on board, that also um, meant that more schools could participate. Mm. And that's how come it's grown so big in terms of the participation, yeah. which in a way has made it a lot more inclusive yeah, that's true. For, for, for everybody. So that has also kind of aided mm. with the interest. Mm. Um, if before people thought it was these elite schools that compete, now everybody is competing. Everybody so involved. the interest has been raised on that side. And mm. then um, you can see that uh, we, we made use of social media. Um, I don't know if we have time to go into how that oh, came maybe, about, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's but that. Um, that. we were nearly overtaken by events and uh, you know, social media, things in technology has grown astronomically in, 
in a very short time, in a matter of a decade, mm -hmm. so many things that didn't exist before yeah. seem to be like every day, it's, it's yes, normal. every day yeah. common things. In 2015, there was no live stream. Yeah, yeah. true. But in 2016, it was everywhere, yeah. and we started using it. One of the things that we had to do was to decide whether we were doing a program that was for TV or we were doing an event that is recorded and put on TV. Okay. Because that is a, very, a major shift in, yeah. in um, organization and thinking approach. Um, if you are looking at it just as a TV program, then you may not really, really need an audience. Exactly. You may need just maybe a few people, people to do the clapping yeah. and singing, which was originally how it was. And then we found by 2015, when social media had grown a lot, people were coming there and doing videos. Yeah watching it and, and reporting on it on yeah, social media that's what happening, yeah. and people had taken a great interest in it we set up our social media accounts in 2013 but it was not we were given updates and and so we grew our social media um channels organically okay. it wasn't until i think uh 2018 or 2019 that we did sponsored ads oh, before okay. everything before Mm. And by that time, we had over 150,000 followers. Oh, Everything good. before that was, was organic. Was organic. Oh, yes. nice. We inviting our friends to like, and mm -hmm. they inviting their friends to like, mm -hmm. that kind of mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. And keeping the, the, the place busy with uh, mm. live updates. So. And then, so, so we started out as a TV, strictly yeah. recorded TV program. And then it became an event because people would come there, take pictures, take videos. Yeah. You had NSMQ, and which also meant that the scores couldn't be kept a secret any longer. We used to record everything and then show them on TV. So something interesting happened in, in 2015. Uh, I used 2015 as the, the uh, should I say? Let's uh, say a marker. Yes, mm -hmm. a, a marker. Uh, uh, that's a good word, mm -hmm. a marker. Because a lot of things shifted then. Um, before then, as I said, we used to record all the programs and then show them on TV yeah. one by one. And then when we were done with it, we would put do post an ad. And yes, then we'd do the post production and then we'd show on TV and then we'd put out an ad to congratulate the school that had won. So, n apart from the schools that were participating at that time, no one else was knew was going on. Okay. that it was going on when it was going on. Then 2015 happened and people started coming in there. And we were still showing, um, we were still showing the, 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 the 2014, from. which was won by Infants Film School. We we're still showing that on TV because um, now we had a lot more programs to record. In 2014, we started the regional okay. uh, qualifiers Contest, okay. because now we had a lot more schools mm. coming and they had to do a selection somehow. And we were still showing it on TV at the time we got to the finals. For, for the 2015 season. And we finished the finals, I think it was on a Thursday. On Monday, there was an ad in the papers from the Prempe boys, because Prempe won yeah, that yeah. year, 2015. We wanted so the whole world to know. They had put in the ad. <laughs> and suddenly, nobody was interested in the first film school because there was a new champion in town. Yeah. So that's why I said that we were nearly overtaken by yeah, events. Okay. And when we okay. looked at it, we realized that um, you have to, we had you have to, to adapt. Yes, you had mm. to adapt to it or, or now really be yeah. outdated. Yeah. So we took that up and, and we had to change the approach. How, how significant a change was it for you? And what, what kind of, of course, the cost aspect is there, but yes. really, how much of a challenge was that? Making that switch from, yes, we are done shooting, say, 20 episodes, we are now doing a post-production and all these other things, to doing a live production with a live event, a live uh, audience, managing audience, managing this. Ma how, how was the experience? How was it like? It was, it was <laughs> tough. Our challenge, our, our biggest challenge was how to, should I say, cover up our mistakes? Mm -hmm. Because in recording, gen yeah. yes, there are challenges, there are mistakes. Uh, sometimes, yes, sometimes um, someone may speak and the quiz so mistress might not enough. hear. Yeah. So they'll ask you, take it again, say exactly what you said, yeah. 
so that we take it this time so we can all hear. Yeah. You know, sometimes uh, there are issues like those, but there was no, when you're doing a live show, there's no room for that. Room for error. <laughs> there's no, yeah. every mistake you make is seen in real time. Yeah. So uh, it's still a challenge. Mm. It's still a challenge. I think how last year to also there was a similar challenge. It's still a challenge. How to, how to, um, and, and some kinds of challenges are not good for live TV. Because no one wants to sit there and, and just wonder for, for, for minutes on end what's going yeah. on. But sometimes we can't help that. Yeah. One of the, the cardinal principles of, of, of the NSMQ is that we allow for, for the schools to contest, to contest the, the, the adjudication of a question. Mm. But they have to bring proof that what, because we feel, we, we believe that science is dynamic. Of course. And it changes every yeah. time. Uh, five or ten years ago, or let's say 15, well, well when, when I was a student, we were told that there were nine Pluto. planets, and Pluto was a planet. Now we are, yeah, we are told it's no more the case. Sorry. There's even the case and of different the parallel lines. They do not meet, but they say now they meet in space. Ah, well. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and what our children are, mm. are, are studying now. So because it's dynamic, you, we cannot stick with just one answer to say, no, it's A or it's B. Mm. And it always is A or B. Sometimes new knowledge comes on. Yeah. And then the A turns into C. Yeah. So that's why we allow them, uh, the contestants and yeah. the teachers, to challenge the answer given to a question. But they have to bring proof. And then they argue it out. So we have the consultants present uh, during the, con uh, the contest to resolve issues like those. Mm. Or... So that was another adjustment we had to make. Okay. We had to make it mandatory for the, the consultants to be on location. When some of these things are happening. Uh, and has it ever been oh. the case that um, a school has challenged maybe the answer to a question that has been posed? Maybe mm -hmm. they tried answering and you said, no, this was not the answer. I said, no, 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 no. Go check your records. This actually ought to be the answer. Mm -hmm. Has there been a situation like yes. that? Yes. And, and, when, and where, where they are right... You, you, you get your points. We, we don't have a problem with that at all. Okay. Like I said, we believe that science is dynamic. Mm. And it's a learning, after all, everything else. It's an educational mm. program. So um, okay. we, entertain, we entertain intellectual discussions. Yeah. I like how you've made science so sexy. Like you've made <laughs> learning sexy. People want to... You see, some don't... Some feel it's too boring. Math is too boring. It's too some way. Mm -hmm. um, when you're in school and you're such a bookworm, people see you in a certain way. But now, you can actually become a celebrity because you're a shark. Yeah. It's sexy. I mean, if I, well, if I take my books a bit more seriously, you know, <laughs> I'm be sitting here. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm just saying. And, and I think it's a really good thing. It's good. I mean, it's good. The celebrities have their, their slots, mm. but I think that the academicians should have theirs too, and mm. their work should also be known, because if you're looking for, for mentors, we are looking for, for role models, mm. and looking for our children to develop, these are the kind of people that they should be looking at, not only because of the work they do, but whatever their backgrounds or their, their, you know, their challenges are. Mm. You want to open your child your child's mind up to the, the vast, you know, world of possibilities, possibilities yeah. that's, that that's is true. open to them. And that's why we also started this satellite program, the mentorship sessions, okay. because we realized that um, Ghanaian students they didn't know much about the options open to them mm. in terms of career with mm. a background in science. Mm. And, and so that was, uh, that came on to address that, that mm. challenge. But, Yes, it's, it's, it's important for us to, to, to provide good role models for our children and even for us. That's true. One thing I've heard a lot of people talk about, though, has to do with generally in Ghana, there are concerns about our educational structure, mm -hmm. how the system is all about babadi, that's how we call it. Ah. Two poor pass forget. Yeah. Even at the university, it's the same. In secondary schools, it's the same. Um, some say, and I've heard a few people say this, I have my own views on it though, but I've heard people say that NSMQ, much as it's helping a lot of students study and the like, it's still ingrained so much in the two 
four past forget. How you can quickly just... Is that a challenge you... Is that a concern you have heard? Yes. Something you have heard? Yes, many times. And Okay. The thing is, mm -hmm. a quiz is a quiz. <laughs> a quiz is a quiz. Mm -hmm. There's only so much you can, you can do, do with a quiz. And so when people mention this, I always go back to our objectives right. and aims in putting together the quiz. The first one was to make science, the study of science, interesting mm -hmm. to, to, to students, to the general public, for people to know that, you know, dis demystifying science. So people know that it's not such a strange thing for only strange people mm. or certain kinds of people to, to, to excel at. And that science is everything we do. Mm. Everything we do, yes. Mm. It's the science around us. Everything yeah. we do is, 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 um, is explained. Yes, it's explained or, or, or guarded so, yeah, or granted, guided by granted, science. Granted, but ex except... So they say a titration formula of yes. so so and so and yes. blah 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 and all of that. Then the quiz of the day or the question of the day comes. Yes. Um, the schools go, they work out all of these things. No, no, you missed a step in the like. The students know it. I think there was a case where uh, I think the quiz mistress at the presidency had even mentioned that some of the very good students who had come through the program had gone elsewhere outside the country and had been given a pipette, a burette, and a few other things. Okay, so mix the formula, let's see. And they just looked at, well, we've calculated it. This is how you're supposed to do it. So, okay, so do it. And they were found wanting. Um, is there a way around some of these things? I know the bigger picture will have to mean that we have to perhaps take an, a closer look at our educational system and mm. how maybe we can make it better. Mm. But perhaps in your own small way, is that something you are considering going forward? Right. Um... But that particular thing, I, I think that we have to look at it uh, from, the, from the point of view that it is a systemic problem, mm. not exactly a science and math quiz problem. Mm. Uh, don't forget that when we started the science and math quiz 28 years ago, there was nothing, yeah. nothing anywhere about it. Science was regarded as a difficult subject that only certain kinds, special people could do. And so um, if we look at how we started and the reasons why we did it uh, we have we have we have um achieved our we have aims. Ticked the boxes we have right. achieved our aims and the, the most important thing is the generation of of interest yeah. in the study of the, the you, you have people who who choose the schools that they want to go to because, because of, of the that yeah, that's true now the other side what we've done to kind of provide an, 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 a, a sort of a, a solution to it is to start a, a program which was originally a satellite program okay. of the quiz, the SciTech Fair. Okay. We started that in 2017. It was an exhibition only until last year. So last year what we did was to break it off the quiz also because of COVID and you know, yeah. contact issues. Break it off the quiz and set it up with the mentorship sessions as an entirely different program. So the STEM festival, okay. which we did last year, had the SciTech fair mm. and the mentorship programs, um, mentorship sessions. The SciTech fair last year was not just an exhibition as it had been before. It was also, um, it was in two parts, the exhibition and then what we call the SciTech innovation challenge. Mm. So with the SciTech innovation challenge, over a two day period, the schools, that were participating were required to build a pre-approved project from okay. scratch on location. In two days? In two days. Wow. So that is our way of trying to bridge okay. that gap. Okay. But it will That's not be one. the full solution because there are students in our schools who go to the universities and see a pipette for the very first for the time. The first time, that's true. So that 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 um, th there's a bigger problem mm. that has to be dealt with at, at the lower levels of education, and we are hoping that we can do uh, things like that to kind of bridge the gap. So people go through the system. Some very brilliant. They are done. Then what? What happens after they they've gone through? They've excelled. So is it that okay? You've succeeded. You've gotten the recognition. You've gotten the grades continue with life as usual or perhaps there's a plan 
to maybe even see them, particularly even for the females, see them even continue on a particular field when it comes to STEM? I'm, I'm just wondering. We, d we don't have a plan uh, as a, in terms of like a conveyor belt kind of, okay. you, know, you do this and then you move to something else. No, we don't, we don't have that, but we've been uh, looking for our former contestants and okay. tracking them. One of the things that we've, we've been doing with them since, since um, 2015, mm -hmm. or, or rather 2013, mm. is, is bringing the former contestants back on our mentorship program. Okay. So every year we make room for a mentorship program, which even started really with a former contestant. Oh, okay. Coming back to speak with the students mm. because he felt that sometimes, um, sometimes they were a bit stressed and that um, hearing from someone who had been He's through, been through that, before, yeah. that before would... I know Prisek used to do that. I think there was a guy from MIT. He was, went through a program, went to MIT. Right. When it was time for one of the contests, they brought him down to speak to, to speak to guys. Yes, so, it, it helps when, when someone who's been through that and, and you know, you, you, you identify with the yeah, person because, you, yes, uh, there's, there's commonality okay. between you. And so since 2013, our, our mentorship program has been fed in many ways by our former contestants, yeah. lots and lots and lots okay. of them. And then we also started the NSMP live chats in 2020. In fact, we are still doing the, this is the first, the first season of the 2022, okay. uh, the 2022 year yeah, sessions, mm. um, bringing them back to speak, um, you know, interviewing them mm. about their, their career. Life after NSMQ. Yes, the life after NSMQ, okay. their jobs, what they are doing now. And to share memories of their time yeah, yeah. and the program. Yeah. So that the live chat does that. But the mentorship session is really, uh, well, a brief introduction about themselves and uh, their career paths. And mm. then talking about the job that they do and how they got there and what their job entails. So slightly different okay. Okay. approaches yeah. to yeah. it. But we have more contestants coming on. Mm. Um, we'll be 30 years old next year, so ah, we are looking for that. That ought to be a good one. Yes. So let's take a look at the next one. <laughs> What's going to happen? What to expect? The usual fireworks. Mm -hmm. We have worked very hard to be consistent yeah. uh, in terms of our delivery, in spite of all the challenges mm -hmm. we've, we've, we've had yeah. and are still having mm -hmm. for any uh, production. Uh, let, me, let me even ask this. Issue of funding, is it ever a challenge for you people? I was about to talk about because that. <laughs> doing such a production, I, I can imagine, I was about it's to, not going to be easy. As I was about to mention, that's exactly where I was going, that every year, for any production, for any production, every year, your first, your first and most, um, or should I say, your first and biggest budget, issue is the budget budget yeah and the funding for your program and um, we've had we've had a lot of challenges sometimes um, or I mean over the years sometimes not having sponsors or maybe um, maybe not being paid on time yeah. and having to take loans yeah. to because this is a school program and we are so bound by exactly the school calendar so when you miss the slot you have missed it for yeah. the year so if you don't have money for it at that point in time, then you have to go and borrow, mm -hmm. just so that you can have the program come on, and then you can you can follow up and mm. and, and and get the money afterwards. But it's a big challenge. You're always ha having to. How do you maneuver that though, really? I I think uh, that um, well, it's, it's grace. <laughs> 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 uh, we are blessed mm. that um, we are blessed to have um, collaborators who believe in us and who have believed in us for, for, from from beginning. Um, every time there's a major challenge, someone comes in and stands in the. But we see for a project for, us. for a project yeah. with the benefits as immense as this, I don't think you should be struggling for sponsorship even. I think people should be trooping in to bring you money, and I think even. The government, through the GES and all the other stakeholders, the National Youth Authority should be spending some money on this, I believe. The um, 
uh, how do we call it? There are several agencies of government, even, that should be supporting in some of these projects. Mm. Do you get any of such support? The, the Ghana Education Service is the main sponsor of the program, mm. so they pay for almost everything. But then we also have our corporate sponsors who, yeah. who chip in quite a lot. Um, there's, there's APSA Bank, that's our biggest okay. um, sponsor. They are, they are a partner sponsor to the GEA. So they sponsor certain aspects of the program, like the regional uh, championships mm. and, 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 and some of the other satellite programs. Yes. And I'm passionate but, about this. I really am. Mm. Uh, because I, it's, we are looking at the future. Right. This is what is grooming a lot of these younger folk and letting them know that it's still swag enough to love science, to study hard, and be yes. a better citizen. Yeah. It's, and for, I mean, the, the thing is now on social media, a lot of people just see things and they think, well, this is how I'm supposed to look like or be like. They go on IG and they see some, I don't want to say fraud boy, but you know, they see yeah. some guy doing all of these things. But at least you, you guys are still setting that example that, listen, still go through the system. Yeah. It's still possible. You can still even be much, much, much bigger and better than all of these people. Yeah. And the evidence abounds. People have gone through, a lot of them are doing very, very well like yes. elsewhere. So, yeah. you know, uh, so I like that. So since she has mentioned the sponsors, I also mentioned to you that uh, First National Bank is the bank of the changeables. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, as much as possible, try and uh, join them. If you have not joined them, First National Bank, what are you waiting for? Hey, hey. Absa Bank today. Uh, but you see, <laughs> this is the bank of the changeables. <laughs> I also bank today. But, but this is the bank of the changeables. <laughs> and you see, they are saying that from now up until September, uh, if you switch, for those of you who are doing micro, small scale, medium scale enterprises, if you switch to a uh, first national bank, uh, they are not even charging. For the next, for the first three months, no charge on your uh, transactions or whatever. Enjoy for free. Use that money to support your business. What more do you want? It's as simple as that. Make that change today. Visit firstnationalbank.com.gh for a lot more information. Okay? Also, uh, the show was brought to you by uh, Juice Up. I've been juicing up all this while. You don't know why. Because uh, uh, this is full of a lot of energy. There's nothing like sugar or additives or whatever. No, 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 no. It's a uh, pure juice. It just has condiments in there made by Benjamin Farms. You know Benjamin Farms? Well, uh, if you don't, please check out one of the episodes of 21 Minutes with KKB. You would see. She's that doctor we spoke to with a huge farm. Uh, it was over 200 acres, right? 200 acres of farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a doctor, medical doctor, who is doing a 200 acre farm. Uh, you know, so try that. You would enjoy it. Very, very healthy. Okay? Uh, also, I spoke to you about fuel prices. They are not going down anytime soon. <laughs> Get your mind accustomed to that fact. It's not going down anytime soon. So I am now targeting MG Motors, one of their cars, MG Moto Ghana. They have a very solid car. Big one. Nice one. I think it looks like me. So I'll go get it. Because it's what? 1.5 litre engine capacity. Even though it's a 4x4. Four four. So maybe you should also pass by and take a look at any of those cars. And you enjoy it. Don't worry. Once you're done with the show, I'll play one of the ads so that you see it and get to appreciate the quality of that vehicle as well. Of course, the show was also brought to you by Asili Coffee. Coffee grown right here in Ghana. Ekiopem uh, Coffee. Start your day right. Start with Asili Coffee. My name is Kwabna Chenche Our guest for today has been Nana Ekia Abwajiwa Ankuma Asari. N.A. to the power for your... Don't joke with the name. <laughs> powerful woman, powerful name. <laughs> right? Uh, she would usually end, usually they start and end by saying, this is a prime time production. Well, it wasn't, but we are privileged that uh, she managed to uh, join us for this very interview. I'm sure you might have picked one or two lessons, learned a few. Going to know that if for nothing at all, she's a big woman from a big family. <laughs> you didn't hear that part. Sorry, rewind it. <laughs> My name is Governor Jenny Many thanks for watching. I'll see you soon, hopefully, with another guest you expected. <laughs>